Hey everyone, Sam McGuire here from Enterprise DNA. Just want to show you a really um, easy and unique tip around visualization, visualizing showing a chain from one state to another. Okay, so I'll go through this example. This this example came from a recent Power BI challenge that we held at Enterprise DNA, and this was actually one of my submissions. Um, and it was around uh, an HR consultation process. And what I mean by one state to another state is that there was two interviews per consultation. So we had one state, which was the first interview. Second state was a second interview, right? And what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a visualization which showcased the change in how people felt about the the consultation for each different state. Okay. So don't get confused when I say state. I don't mean regions. I'm just sort of saying like in one um, interview here to to the next interview. And this can the the reason why I'm going through it because it can be used in many different scenarios, right? And it just took a little bit of out of the box thinking around visualizations to actually, I think, show this in a, in a slightly more compelling way, right? And so um, what I'm talking about here is this top layer here. So we had a consultation on working hours, pay policy, health, safety, performance. We had first interview, this was how people felt. Second interview, this is how they felt. First interview, so on and so forth, right? And it's dynamic. So say I select a particular interviewer, the page will update uh, for that particular interview, all right? Um, and then I've got a bit of bit more granular detail about each individual down below. Okay, but the the, the key here is is up here. How did I how did I actually do it? Now, what it is is, and I've used a couple of features. It's it's actually just a stacked column chart next to each other. So one stacked column chart and another stacked column chart. And what I've done to the individual um, charts is so we had uh, like a simple calculation. Um, uh, what was it? We had a simple calculation just counting up the amount of employees, right? And then we filtered it by uh, how the we've got we've got filters here for first outcome, and then there's uh, if I can I'm not sure if I can select it in here because I've actually grouped these. Um, but you'll see see here that we've got first outcome and second outcome, and so that filter is able to to create the um, the legend, if you like, but the the, the key is it's and, and the thing is, it's like I haven't done any fancy formulas or anything like that. All I've done is I've used column charts and the filter function here, and then I've taken everything out of I've turned off everything around the visualization, and then I've aligned both the visualizations up together. Then what I've done is I've grouped them together, right? So you can you can multi select things now in Power BI. And you can actually group them together. So if I say multi-select these, um, I can come up here and I can go group, and then I can move them around together, right? So what I did was I created them individually as column charts. Then I put them together right next to each other um, so that I could visualize it this way. Then I went and grouped them, and then I could. Uh, and then what I did was I went and just did copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Then I changed the filters on each different one for the, each different interview. So I was able to, and if you look at it this way, I'm able to see um, through time, uh, well, not through time, but um, from, you know, visually be able to show, okay, well, how did this change through time, right? Um, and if I'm also, what I've got in this um, report as well, is I was able to select on, say, a particular, um, a particular one of the consultations, and you'll see visually, because of the filtering that we have in place through this filters area, it's now only showing up the one that I selected right and so all of these sort of filters work after um so maybe i want to place another filter here as well and so we can get really granular on on the results here right so we can we can start from way way out back but then uh, you know way way up high in terms of seeing the results for everything but then if you want to really assess okay well how did this consultation go when these two interviewers were actually taking the interviews interview one and interview two it looks like if we just do a, a quick um it looks like they did better right so so um, initially in the first interview there was a lot of people unhappy and in the second interview there was less people unhappy uh, more people who, who who were happy right and because all of these numbers are always going to equal the same amount this side and this side um because of you know everyone has to go through two interviews right okay so i'll just get rid of um some of these filters and then we can zoom back out to our um, 
larger state so, so this is every everyone in the in the data set right and then we can obviously put layer on other filters as well okay so that's look that's all i wanted to show you um this is just a bit bit, of, bit more out of the box thinking a bit more creative um think you know implementing some creative uh, visualization tips and you know techniques into my reports to showcase insights in ways that you probably you know you can't you couldn't really do it um and in you know you couldn't create this sort of visualization any other way right um or, or previously uh, so it just takes you know just a little bit of imagination um, and that's 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 one thing that I love to sort of inspire you to do, right? Um, you, you're not just beholden to the visualization palette. There's far more options out there for you in terms of what you can achieve visually, um, and that's what's going to engage your consumers more. Okay, uh, all the best. You can actually, if you want to have a play around with this particular report, um, check out the Enterprise DNA uh, showcase page, Power BI showcase page. We've got um, uh, you see, it's one of our more recent ones. Uh, and you can have a play around you can just click on use live demo and you can have a play around with that yourself okay all the best uh if you like this one throw the video a like as always really 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 appreciate it uh, and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv okay take care